Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry, and tonight I am coming with a soap that is all Gabe's idea, um, and it's really sweet too. Uh, he said, well, I would like to pick the colors and the fragrance. So we kind of went through that whole thing, and he came up with this color scheme, but then we went outside to on the porch, and he came up with the sweetest idea ever. Um, we have a lot of flowers in our front yard that we planted this summer, and we have some that are um, green coral and pink with a little bit of white so we decided to make a soap dedicated to our flowers and this soap is going to be called home sweet home um as you can see my colors are white pink and coral and then my base is going to be the green which i've never done a green base this color the green is going to be rustic essentials enchanted forest mica which is a really pretty green and the fragrance i'm using is coriander citrus and this is also from rustic essentials as well so, um, I'm going to go ahead and get all this mixed in and then we'll get to making soap. Well, I guess we are making soap. <laughs> See you in a sec. Alright, ladies and gems, I am back and I got everything mixed in. I had to work on this green a little bit. So it wasn't exactly the color that we wanted, but this will do. I don't want to keep messing with it and it's going to cure out a little bit darker. Anyway, so, get my mole in here. You guys know I'm on my tall skinny mole cake right now. So, go ahead and set that there. And then I'm going to pour a mostly green base and put my other colors into it. Okay? Okay. So, let me just make sure what you guys can see. I'm still working on these camera angles, y'all. Yeah. I think I want to mess things up. <laughs> okay. We'll work. We'll figure it out. There we go. I think you can see okay so pour most of that green and I'll be sure not to pour all of it this time like I did last time I think that I'm going to do yeah coral then light pink and then white and then start over again save a little bit for the top and this I bet this fragrance um for a minute and at first i was kind of on the fence about it but i read the reviews on it and um the person who left the review said the same thing that it has a very different um note of the fragrance outside of the bottle once you put it in your soap it smells amaze balls let me tell you it is so citrusy and fruity and the person did describe it as being very fruity and that it is for sure so i'm happy that we decided to go ahead and use this one Right. Let's do a little bit of white. Which is this. I'm really dumb. I just I feel like I want to wash a whole bunch of dishes. Soap dishes. <laughs> I was supposed to pour this. I mean use the spatula on the white and I put it in the coral. Of course I go and do the darkest color first. Alrighty. So now for my white, I'm gonna pour that up pretty high. So I want it to break down pretty far. I don't care about it going on the mold. You know how I roll, y'all. Okay. And then some pink. Give these a little stir out. Oh, I don't even think I scraped the bottom of this cup. I didn't. It's a pretty pink. Alright. Oh, that smells good. Every time I stir it, it smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, and now we'll do a little bit more green. And now I'm going to have some soap left over, which is cool because I told you guys in one of my videos past that I was going to start doing mini bars for sale. That way you can test them out and see if you like them before you commit to a whole full size bar. So, Whew, getting warm. Now this green is actually turning a green that I ooh, that I wanted. Yep, it started to look very pretty to me at first. I was kind of concerned that it was going to be like kind of Christmassy, but I actually like it. I actually like it. Okay, so I'm trying to think, do I want to pour another pass of green? Maybe a little bit more. I'll start from the opposite end. I know a lot of this is going on the side of Mo, but I don't mind. 
I'm going to just pop it right back in there. So remember, I'm putting on my spatula. And I'm not going to do um, a skewer or anything on this. It's going to let it fall where it wants. A drop swirl. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and give this a little tap down. Then I'm going to add some more to the top. Yeah, that green is actually pretty darn lovely. I do like it. I wasn't sure, and I knew it was going to darken up a little. That's why I didn't want to keep adding to it. Okay. I think that, I'm trying to think here. I'll do a wee bit more white. And then, and then, just a little bit, because I want to be able to, I have a little bit for the top. I feel like I should just go ahead and pour some more green. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh Lord. I used to use 10,000 spatulas. Now I've gotten down to pretty much one or two spatulas. Now when I use multiple spatulas, I get confused about which one I use last. Okay, so, so I do want this soap to be filled all the way to the top. I mean the top, not the top of the mold. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and probably just end up using all this. I was going to try to make a mini loaf, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pour all of this in there. Because I got room. I'll probably, I'll get some samples, but that's about it. Hopefully that bowl's not in your face. Okay. And give another little wee smack down. And of course, you know, I'm going to have to wait until this uh, sets up a little bit more. Because it is very loose. Loosey goosey. I, I kind of like this camera angle. So now I am going to leave this be. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Until this sets up on the top some. And then I'll be back. Okay guys? Okay. Okay, so I'm back because of course I can't wait. So <laughs> I'm I'm not going to uh swirl it yet or texture the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep mounting this up. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward that because I'm pretty sure some of you don't want to see that, okay? guys I think this might be about ready I'll just give it a little test and see yeah I think it's fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up their sides a little bit and um, I'm trying to think do I wanna well let me do the other side first and then I'll give it a little swirl 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 I don't know going too far down in there but guess it doesn't matter because I'm about to sort it anyway it is a muggy one today and I know by the time you guys see this video who knows what the weather's gonna be like cuz I'm like seven or eight soaps in <laughs> yay me but uh <laughs> um yeah it is like smoldering upstairs so I'm kind of happy I'm in the basement because it feels pretty nice and I know that just was kind of bass backwards what I did, but I'm going to fix it. And of course, I'm not going to leave it like that. I just wanted to kind of give it a swirl before I textured the top. Just like that. It looks kind of Christmassy, but I think once I cut it, it won't. No, I have to ask Gabe. Ask 
not ass, <laughs> ass Gabe, um, what kind of, does he want any glitter, what in the hell does he want, because I don't know, I didn't ask. <sighs> okay, and that looks very Christmassy, mm-hmm. It's not intended to be a Christmas salt. Nope, it's not. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of texture that some more. Yeah, that red and green is really starting to look like Father Christmas. <laughs> but that's okay. Because like I said, once I cut it, I don't think it will. I do like the top down. I can just clean up a little bit more. Or I could just leave it alone because I'm making a mess. Let's just do that. I'll clean up with the towel. Okay, dokie. So now, let me get Gabriel and see what type of glitter does he want on the top of the soap. If he wants any glitter on it at all. I don't know. Alright, so be back. Alright guys, so we discussed it and he said white. So that's what we're gonna do. Um oops. oh yes, this definitely looks like a Christmas soap, but like I said, once I cut it, I don't think it will. And I do believe this coral might lighten up. I don't think it's gonna stay this color. That is pretty. I mean, hey, what's wrong with a fruity Christmas? So <laughs> I'm just ahead for the holiday season. So that's the way I look at it, but I think that it's going to um kind of mellow out a little bit at least I think so all right guys so that is it that is all if you do like this soap please be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated I am so grateful to have you here thanks for tuning in once again for those of you who are always here and those of you who are new if you are new to my channel I am so fucking happy you found me thank you so much for watching my video my channel and I hope that you come back again and again and again and again and please do hit that subscribe button. That way you can become a part of my stinking awesome crew. And Gabe is behind me humming and it's kind of distracting. Say hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> so, oh, and also be sure to hit the notification bell down there somewhere. I think it's over there. Um, that way you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos. And be sure to watch the cutting video right after this. So until then, toodaloo.